WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets hanging around negative territory. S&Ps right now, negative 27 points, trading at 3,086. Dow Jones off 333 points, trading 27,448. NASDAQ negative by 72, trading at 84.95. All the indices dramatically in the red, but a little bit of a bounce off the lows we had just after the opening bell this morning. Notes and bonds, we got some higher price and lower yield. The 10-year up a full point and four ticks, 130.01. The 30-year up two points and 23 ticks, trading 160.04. Gold contract catching a bit as the market has fallen apart a bit. Gold trading up $15 at 14.84 in the dollar index, off 145 ticks at 97.711. We'll start things off today, and we're going to start it off with the VIX. Quite an escalation over the last two days. We reached a high of 1799 this morning. And as the market has paired some of those losses, the VIX back to a 15 handle of 1586. We'll jump over to the charts. We'll start things off with the Dow. Markets escalate to negative territory on the heels of President Trump stating that a Chinese trade deal might be better off waiting until after the 2020 election. The market taking that, as you may expect, negative action. We trade from 27,825 all the way down to a low in the Dow of about 27,316. And we're up more than 100 points off that low, 27,443. S&P 500 trading at 3,087 actually made it down to a low of 3,069. So that's a solid 18-point bounce in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100 trading at 8,230. We made it down to a low early this morning of about 81.69. So you're talking about 60 NASDAQ 100 points. There's your gold contract trading higher for most of the overnight session, reaching a high of 14.87 that correlated to when the market had made the lows, currently, currently trading at 14.84. And crude oil with volatility in both directions. We trade a dollar south from 56.41 all the way down to 55.37. And we're back up a dollar to 56.33. I'm just going to pull up as we wrap it up. How about those bonds? There is your 10-year yield, all the way from 1.84 to 1.70%. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up live with the Power Trading Hour right now. Tom O'Brien, live at 3. We'll be right back.